WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. It's Fed Day. We get a decision at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Market all but certain there will be no change in the rate. Be interesting to see what the Fed has to say about the rate and interest rates in general going forward with this economy. Jobs numbers in large array. Of course, we've got market right near all-time highs. S&P's right now trading up about four points at 3140. We've got NASDAQ futures up 22 points, trading at 83.86. Dow futures negative by 19, trading at 27,902. Oil with a little negative action off 22 cents at 5902. And the gold contract this morning up three dollars and twenty cents at fourteen seventy one. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with the VIX. As you'd expect, S and P's at about thirty one forty, the all time high, I believe thirty one fifty eight, right up there near all time highs. The VIX relatively calm, fifteen forty nine. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start it off with the indices. Start it off with the Dow. You see a little spike we got at about three a.m. this morning. Almost made it up to twenty eight thousand in the Dow. 27,975 on that acceleration. We're about 100 points off that level, 27,877. NASDAQ 100, <clears throat> excuse me, a spike as well. We're almost back at that level, though, 83,84, the NASDAQ 100. There's your S&P, a spike as well. We reach a high in the futures market of 31,42, about three S&P points off that level, 31,40, trading higher as we speak. There's crude oil, pretty muted action, crude trading at 58,97. Gold catching a little bit of a bid, 1471. Should be interesting to see how gold reacts on the Fed decision as well. And the euro US dollar, 11085. Tomorrow, we get a vote in the UK, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. 5 p.m. tomorrow, that correlates to 10 p.m. over in the UK tomorrow. That's when those results will start coming in. Should be interesting to see how the market reacts there. In terms of what we have on tap today, there's your headline. The Fed expects to hold rates steady and vows to keep short-term lending markets stable. Boeing getting a little bit of negative action this morning as the FAA chief saying Boeing 737 MAX recertification to stretch into 2020. You've heard Boeing talk many times about hopefully getting that done this year. Disney Plus passing 22 million downloads, uh, supposedly an app tracking company saying. And how about in the world of finance and baseball, the Yankees? Signing Garrett Cole to a $324 million deal for nine years. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom all day. Live programming at TFNN. We'll be right back. <laughs>